Hey there, this is Holly Shaw, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the two most important pieces of any audition that are going to help you leave a memorable, wickedly long-lasting impression. Don't you want to be wickedly memorable? Yeah, but you already are. I know you already are, but in this video I'm going to share the two things that are going to help you bring that into the casting room. All right, so here we go. So studies show that if you were to line up people all throughout the day, for example, auditions, and you had people that were auditioning all day long, you are most likely, your brain is most likely to remember the first person that you saw that day and the last person you saw that day. Now, I know that you don't have any control over what time of day you audition, right? It's usually not something you get to choose. But the same premise is true for the beginning and the ending of your audition itself. So a casting director's brain is going to remember more how you begin something and how you end something within your audition. So the two most important parts of any audition are ah, the beginning and the ending, the entrance and the exit. So here's some little special clues about how to best do your entrance and how to best do your exit. Okay, your opening, the way that you begin. You really want to go in there with the opening line being the strongest thing that you've got, right? And, and you really want to make sure that you've taken care of the piece of where is my character right before this? What was my character doing right before this? And sometimes you don't have all of that information, right? But you've at this point, you've already looked through the script, you've already tried to gather as many clues as possible, and you've tried to you know, gather as many who am I of your character and all the essential questions, which I'll go into at a later time. But most important is to ask yourself right before you go in there, okay, where was I right before? And then make sure that you start with that energy, in that energy. Okay, so it's gonna be very different if you're in the middle of a car race than if you are just at a cafe with a friend, right? So what did you just do? And how are you gonna bring that energy to start off the scene, right? Because the casting director is gonna see you going from one energy, your normal walking around confident self that you bring into an audition, and then boom, you're bringing them, you're kind of gathering them, the attention of the room, into the scene with you by knowing the answer to the question, where was I before I said this line? All right? Now the ending. Endings are so important. And here's the biggest mistake that people make is, is if your reader has the last line, what can sometimes happen is the energy drops because you're done with your lines, right? So you're just waiting for the reader to finish. And sometimes people, sometimes actors will drop their energy right at the end as the reader is finishing. Don't drop your energy, whether you have the last line or whether the reader has the last line. Give yourself a moment to respond. And yeah, it's film. It's, you want it to be natural. You want it to be coming from the inside out, right? So you don't need to show it in a really big way, but you need to feel it and you need to allow it to resonate and you need to allow the room to sit in that final moment before you kind of pop out of it, all right? The real mark of a professional is someone who knows where they're going and is willing to take up space, is willing to take up that space at the beginning to get in and at the ending to let it resonate. Okay, so think of a golfer, right, that's got a swing, they're kind of trying to drive that ball. And they have to follow through, right? If they just hit it so far, it wouldn't land. So you want to think about whatever you're doing, you have to just allow it to land. And it can be very subtle, but you still want to have the space to do that. So there it is. Take care of your beginnings and take care of your endings. And the in-between stuff 
It's gonna go just fine. Now, if you loved this, I'm gonna be doing more tips on audition preparation. We're going to be talking about the nine essential questions that you need to ask with any new script. We're gonna be talking about um, techniques for mentally preparing for auditions and so much more. It's gonna be a live class online. It's gonna to be totally free because I really wanna support you guys. I know you're out there auditioning. It's August 20th, so Sunday, August 20th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'll be there live, and I'll, there'll be even be the opportunity for some spotlight coaching. So go ahead and click on the link in your email to sign up for that class, and I'll see you there.